What's going on everybody? It's Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you pictures of the Jakara Tomy Transformers Earthspark toys. So what we have here in front of you right now is the Earthspark ESD-09DX Terran Thrash, which is a cartoon accurate redeco of the Earthspark Warrior Thrash. And all of the other toys that we will show off today are all cartoon accurate redeco. So next up, we have the Earthspark ESS dash zero eight spot the change alita one and then we have the same thing with the ess08 spot the change skull cruncher and the grand person in the room earthspark esd dash s dx battle station optimus prime transformers earthspark optimus prime battle tra base trailer which is a redeck which this is a redeco of which is a redeco of the cyberverse trailer oh gosh but here we go. So here are the pictures. Um, yeah, they do look a lot nicer. Um, definitely the paints are richer. Um, now I'm not into Transformers or Spark. Nothing personal. I just not into it. So that's it. Um, but yeah, some of the figures look good. It's just that, you know, after Cyberverse, I really just couldn't get into any toys that are similar. And here's the Optimus Prime. Now, it looks like the trailer was painted blue. The guns are gray with red paint. You got two-tone paint on some kind of thing. The gun is gray, but everything's just painted. Optimus Prime is very well painted. So now he has painted rims. He's got blue windows. He's got this, like, more robust blue, red and blue paint, the face. You know, it really does look animation accurate. Now, the only thing I have to say is why the hell they couldn't paint the back tire? Oh, well, but at least you got paint on the front tires. The original did not have paint. Um, and it just looked plasticky a little bit, like cheap. But this looks refined, even though it's still that kitty-like appearance. It just looks a lot nicer with all the paint. And like I say, you can see the rims and they're painted. I mean, you know, kind of like a G1 Optimus Prime. Now, the trailer looks to be about the same on the outside, but you got that blue stripe going through, which looks more robust, the Autobot symbol, but just the back wheels are not painted. It just looks so odd to me. But all in all, the uh, repaint does look good. I'm just not going to buy it. But yeah, I mean, if I were into Earth, uh, Earth Spark, yeah, I'd definitely pick this one up. And I still might. Now, here's the uh, Spato Change Alita 1. Um, one step changer, basically. Now, what can we say it? It changes, you flip it back, you flip it again, you flip it again, you flip it again, you flip it again. You know what I mean? See, look, flip. I never liked these things. You know what I'm saying? Even as a kid, never liked these things. And here's the car mode, just shovelware. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And then we go on to the Skull Cruncher. You know, ah, this thing is ugly, but I mean, <laughs> he's, his chest is like so looks like a face but it's a one-step changer and you know i mean if you're too lazy to really transform it yourself just get the one-step changer but he does like you know almost like g1 skull country in a sense the headmaster and like i said you know he's got a nice gold face better paint i mean i, I don't know who it's for I, i'm just being i'm just saying so yeah we got the uh repaints and i know takara has been doing the repaints for earth spark i don't know why that is and why they're not doing more you know just mainline ring paints where everything has to be like ex this you know which is not this line but i mean like for example the beast wars toys you, know, you gotta pay an arm and a leg it's a hundred dollars to get megatron and optimus prime everybody you know what megatron was 30 <laughs> uh optimus prime no megatron was 50 optimus prime was like 30 so you're talking about 80 dollars but the repaints are nice so i guess the extra 20 bucks again it's price well but overall, these look good. Not the one-step changes, but the, uh, the Thrash, Terran Thrash and the Optimus Prime, they look pretty good, especially uh, the Prime. I mean, they gave it a very good paint job. So if you're into this series and you want these toys, I would go for these because these look much nicer. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. This is Super Robot Ed, bringing more news reviews until then. We'll see you soon. Please like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.